On our top story now, in the latest twist to the CJ harassment case, Attorney General K.K. Venugopal has acknowledged writing a letter to the Supreme Court. He said that he wrote to the Supreme Court for a committee different from the one constituted to examine the allegations against CJI Ranjan Gogo. In fact, he added that he wrote this in a personal capacity as a member of the bar and downplayed any purported rift with the government. We have Minakshi now joining us with uh, further details. Minakshi, a letter now coming in. In fact, uh, Attorney General K.K. Venugopal acknowledging writing that letter to the Supreme Court, but also saying that he's written this in personal capacity. Well, that's right, Amita. And, uh, you know, this has become a subject matter of uh, a fresh uh, speculation, which the Attorney General was very keen uh, to dispel. And therefore, uh, why he acknowledged that on the 22nd of April, much before uh, the clean chit uh, to Honorable Incumbent Chief Justice of India was given uh, by the in-house panel, he had indeed uh, written that particular letter uh, in his capacity as being a very uh, valued and uh, very senior member of the bar. Uh, but uh, subsequent to that, we saw events up, uh, up front, uh, which is when uh, Honorable Justice Bogde, uh, who is uh, the prospective uh, Chief Justice of India after the retirement of Honorable Justice Ranjan Gogoi, uh, did receive the letter, but the Supreme Court full date nonetheless went ahead and constituted this in-house panel. So the letter of Attorney General happened way before the clean chit to Honorable Income Chief Justice of India uh, came by. And of course, the composition was what uh, the Attorney General uh, was uh, uh, looking to point out, and very rightly mentioned by you, that Attorney General has clarified to Mary now that this letter was indeed in his personal capacity as an eminent member of the bar, and very importantly, he has also completely uh, trashed all speculations pertaining to a purported drift uh, between him and government, and he also went on to say as to how there is absolutely no question of him resigning. Also, uh, Minakshi, take us to the significant of, uh, significance of this letter itself because, uh, like you pointed out, while quashing all of the speculation, it, the letter, of course, is coming in from uh, one of the senior members of the bar. Well, it is uh, coming in from one of the senior members of the bar who also is one of the top law officers of the government of India, but uh, he wants to keep uh, those two roles that he plays uh, in, in compartments. And importantly, that is now a bygone because uh, we are looking at a scenario where the Supreme Court has proceeded. Uh, one can obviously uh, put in their opinions uh, before the Supreme Court judges, but remember the judges have all autonomy and constitutional, uh, constitutional immunity uh, to why gather the opinion, but the, the prerogative uh, to act or not on that opinion is entirely their own. They're not bound uh, by any such opinion uh, and Therefore, uh, the in-house panel took a decision and the Attorney General uh, merely uh, cited his uh, point of view on a certain aspect. All right, Minashi, many thanks for joining us with those details there. A letter coming in uh, from Attorney General K.K. Venugopal, but of course clarifying uh, that it has been written in his personal capacity.